Are you missing important messages because your WhatsApp notification sound isn't working? Well, I'm going to show you three different solutions to this problem, so just follow my steps and make sure to watch this video until the end. The first thing that we'll do is to open the WhatsApp application on our phone and then navigate over to your settings section. Let's click on notifications right here, and that will then open our WhatsApp notification settings. Maybe you didn't get the sound because these options were turned off or disabled, so just make sure that this show notifications is enabled for both message notifications and group notifications. So I've enabled both of these, and the next step is to select the sound option and make sure that it's not set to none. If it was set to none, then that means that the notification sound was off, which caused the problem for you where you couldn't hear the sound. So just select any sound from the list and tap on the save button at the top right corner of the screen in order to save your changes. Repeat this step for the group notifications as well. The second fix for this problem, if the first one didn't work for you, is to exit this and then open the settings. Go down until you find the notifications option right here. And after that, we're going to see a list of apps which we have installed. And let's find WhatsApp and open the settings for it. As you can see, the notifications are disabled for WhatsApp, and that's why I don't get any push notifications, as well as the notification sound when I get a WhatsApp message or call. What I have to do is to enable this switch right here, and now I can customize the notification settings for WhatsApp. You can select if you want to receive notifications on your lock screen, your home screen, in the notification center. And make sure that this sound switch is enabled in order to hear the sound which you've selected in the app. But if you've done the first two steps and this still doesn't work, then maybe your WhatsApp application has a bug or something. And the thing which you can do is to clear the cache files and delete the unnecessary data. And we can do that by opening the settings, then navigate over to the general section. Find this iPhone storage option and then scroll until you find WhatsApp on this list. In order to fix the notification sound issue for WhatsApp, simply tap on this offload app and this will not delete your conversations or other important data. It will simply clear the cache files, delete the bugs if there are any, and so on. After this step, you'll tap on the reinstall option and then wait a couple of minutes until the app reinstalls from the App Store. This step will also update WhatsApp to the latest version, which will ensure that you have all of the latest features and functions. After offloading and reinstalling the app, you will hopefully fix the problem and you'll get the sound when you receive a message. Tell me in the comments down below if this trick worked for you, and I'll see you in the next video.